Hello ghouls, welcome back to Somber Studios. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that has intrigued scientists, artists, and tech enthusiasts alike the uncanny valley effect. Before we get started, don't forget to slash the subscribe button for more horror content. So what exactly is the uncanny valley? Coined by the Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori in 1970, the uncanny valley is a hypothesis that suggests our emotional response towards a humanoid robot becomes increasingly positive as it becomes more human-like, up to a point. Once it becomes very close to human, but not quite there, it triggers a strong sense of discomfort. Here's a graph to help visualize it. As the human likeness of a character increases, our emotional response generally becomes more positive, right before it becomes indistinguishable from a real human. There's a dip that looks like a valley, hence the term uncanny valley. Makes sense? Let's take a look at some examples. You might have seen humanoid robots that, while impressive, make us feel uneasy due to their almost but not quite human appearance. So, why does the uncanny valley phenomenon occur? From a psychological perspective, it's believed that our brains are wired to quickly identify and respond to human faces. When something looks almost human but not quite, our brain detects the discrepancy, triggering feelings of unease. It's our brain saying, this is close to human, but not close enough. Throughout our evolution, the ability to recognize and respond to human faces played a crucial role in our survival. So, it makes sense that we'd feel uneasy when faced with something that looks almost human, but not enough. The uncanny valley has significant implications, especially in fields like robotics, animation, and virtual reality. Understanding and navigating the uncanny valley is crucial for creating more realistic and relatable artificial entities without triggering discomfort in users or viewers. Because the uncanny valley effect has taken over the internet, prepare to see more movies that trigger this very human reaction. The horror movie Megan is actually the most recent example of this in cinema. Are you afraid of the uncanny valley? Why does it make you uncomfortable? Through this video, did my voice make you uncomfortable at any point? That is because I am a humanoid narrator. I don't actually exist. So if it did trigger you, your human instincts are working and are trying to protect you from the uncanny valley. And there you have it, our exploration of the uncanny valley and why it makes us uncomfortable. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also be sure to check out our other horror-related videos. Thanks for joining us here at Summer Studios, and until next time, be sure to always stay curious and curiouser.